Hello and welcome to the studio. Vin Jelly here and today I'm doing a painting of this shattered oak tree again up on Cadbury Hill Fort and as you can see I've mapped it out in drawing first and I'm just applying some masking fluid first of all just to mask out a couple of the lights and then starting to apply the watercolour and mixing different colours on the page as I go I'm working into the darks so that I get the shadows right and try and establish some form as I go along. This is yet another one of the series of tree paintings that I've been working on recently and um, they're quite experimental. I'm working from reference photographs or from life and I'm trying to use the observational uh, drawing and painting but also introducing some more abstract elements or some more imaginative elements for the backgrounds so quite experimental pieces and um, I've already failed with two earlier this week so if you watch these videos and think it comes easily it really doesn't and um, I have lots of trouble from time to time with some of the ideas that I have and anything that involves imagination can be quite tricky to do. Um, it can be this balance between reference shots and using your imagination or your memory. And your, with watercolour, it's such a temperamental uh, and yet beautiful medium that you can easily mess things up. So um, introducing an imaginative element can work, but it can also fail. And I've trashed a couple of these this week already that started off quite well and then just went wrong. But um, that's the way of experimenting really, that's what it's all about. You will, some things will go well and some others won't. I um, quite liked it at this stage where it was, had no background and that was what I wanted to do originally. But I couldn't resist carrying on and uh, playing with the watercolour and I was getting some rather nice colours and small areas of wash and glazing at the bottom around the bottom of the tree um, blues and pinks and oranges and um, just suggesting the pine trees that were growing behind um, in the in the background and uh, emphasizing the, the recession using blues and pale blue greens and um, some hints at uh, blue sky poking through the clouds there as well and um, I thought it was almost finished at this stage, but there was still something I wasn't quite pleased about in terms of balance. And um, so I carried on with it a bit more. Um, you can see the palette there and part of the setup. Anyway, uh, I decided the sky needed a bit more weight to it, so I um, started to add tone up there. And um, just playing around with colour really. and trying to make it balance with what was down below. So I've uh, introduced a bit of a wash over the sky just to tone it away to um, a grey and um, I'm just making a few notes on the surface about uh, what the subject is and what the weather conditions were. So here's how I left it and uh, Hopefully I didn't overwork it. I think I just about caught it before I did. It's got some nice things going on in it. Um, so I hope you enjoyed the video. Please like and subscribe and I'll be producing some more soon.